Get the latest on what's going on this earnings season, meets, beats, and more in Zach's Earnings Scorecard. Hey everyone, Eric Dutram here for Zax.com, coming to you with the latest earnings news and analysis. Today we're staying in the home improvement sector looking at Lowe's, ticker symbol L-O-W, ahead of their report on 1116 before the bell. Now Lowe's has seen some very interesting trading over the last couple months. We saw a nice surge in not just this company, but the overall home improvement space heading into the summer. But in the early part of the fall and even in the last couple weeks and months, shares have been really depressed here heading into the election. But we did see a nice turnaround once Donald Trump was elected president of the United States. However, we look to the chart right here, we can see shares are actually just at break even for 2016, staying right around this, this $70 mark uh, for each share. So th that's definitely something to know for investors that we've seen some serious volatility in shares of lows heading into this release. But if we look back to the chart, we can see that earnings estimates have been trending flat to slightly downward for both 2016 and then this 2017 number sl slightly dipping here as well. Now, investors should also note that Lowe's has a negative earnings ESP, so some of the most recent estimates have been a bit lower, while the Zacks rank here is a sell or a Zacks rank number four. Now, you can combine this with a A for its VGM score to get a, sort of a mixed picture here. And if we look once again to the chart, we can see that Lowe's does have a pretty so-so track record when it comes to beating earnings estimates. It's missed in the last report, but it did have three beats right before that. So overall, kind of a mixed look. And if we look past over the last couple of years, we see a, a similar trend developing for the stock. So overall, Lowe's is looking pretty mixed here and heading into its release. It does have a bottom 10% industry rank. So this might be one investors might want to stay away from or at least look to Home Depot instead, uh, at least heading into this earnings report. Well, that's all the time we have for right now. Make sure to go on over to Zacks.com and check out our earnings calendar for additional earnings news and analysis. But until then, for Zacks.com, I'm Eric Dutra.